welcome back. We're going to go straight into an auction here, and then if I win it, I can show you the car. But it's due up in a couple of cars' time. Just got to get rid of this Citroen Relay van, the old uh, Amazon Prime vehicle. Um, it's been slowly going on. There we go, it's sold. Um, up next is this really lovely six years BMW on reserve don't think it's probably going to get much more interest to be fair and it doesn't look like it will so that might sell quick oh no got a bid uh quite high mileage that don't know what it's in for but it just says engine start so um it's obviously not able to go on its own power bonus time for some reason um it has actually an Irish number plate and the current bidder is from Ireland. Anyway, <clears throat> we have got a 2013 lounge which popped up rather late into my box. It's currently at 525. And the only reason I'm really looking at this is it says it's Cat S. I don't believe the damage on it at the moment is a Cat S, so it could be that it's already had a Cat S repair. And that this is a cat N and it's and it's um yeah hit it but we, we'll see how we go uh, on it. Bonus Got another bonus time. time for this BMW. Um, and if it's relatively low, I'll be honest, it does say it's on reserve. But if it's relatively low, it could be a, just a good little um, turnaround. Okay, so here we go. Cool. New bitter. Blimey. Look at that. New bidder. This is 900. New bidder. Hmm. Interesting. Let's New go bitter. and see whether or not people are willing to go to a thousand on that. It is in. Approaching mm. minimum bid. Yeah, I expected. I don't really want to. I don't think it's really worth any more than that. So I'll be out at that. Bonus time. If I'm being honest. Still think that's a tiny bit more than I'd want to pay. But the only good thing about this is it's a 2013. That's all that's um, that's the positive of this one. It's not near the reserve. Right. Sold on approval. Okay, so we've won that. New bidder. Uh, I say we've won it. It was on reserve. It was close. I imagine that... Well, you will get it. So, um, let's have a look at potentially what we've won. Right, okay. So, this is the vehicle, the 500 that we are waiting on. Uh, just noticed up the top here bid status awaiting seller response my max bid was 1150 seller's reserve was 1200 we're not going to do that so <clears throat> the damage is limited to this here which is some might argue is a new wing Although, obviously, that's taken a bit of a thud in the corner, but we'll have a look in another photo. Otherwise, there doesn't appear the number plate needs uh, sorting out from this angle. Uh, we can pop that tow hook back in. Slightly bur blurry picture, not so good. Um, from this side, it appears to be not too bad. From the rear, doesn't appear to be too bad. 
We're missing a cap there, that's fine. Uh, that's weird. Well done. Has he got it down that side? Yeah. I'm hoping that isn't a dent, if I'm being honest. Let's, see if, let's have a look at this. No, I don't think it's a dent. I was looking at this rear quarter here. But anyway, uh, it's got 500, 500 twice down there. Uh, so nothing too major there. It's got the red interior, unfortunately. Not much we can do about that. Get rid of the steering wheel cover. And it all seems to be fairly much the same. Looks like one key. Uh, a blurred shot of the engine. Nothing seems to be too much out of place there. Just over half a tank of fuel. Everything seems to be okay there. Right, so this is the damage. So I'm going to assume that they're classing that as a Cat S because the inner part of this wing has been damaged so it's not just cosmetic at the front and it's um, that's what it might be otherwise that's it um, the wheel's gone I don't know why that would be in fact looking at that let's have a look at another photo that's held on with two flipping bolts lovely uh, yeah, don't know if the tyre was flat or the wheel was buckled, but either way, at the moment, which to be fair, it could be in the boot, we don't know. Uh, that is, yeah. I don't, yeah, can't believe that, but maybe, hey ho. Uh, this side, oh, maybe this is better. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any damage to here. Uh don't know what that says. 500. 500 what? 500 loo? 500. 100. I don't really know. Uh, but the bodywork appears to be in good condition. So it's 92,000. Uh, slightly higher than I'd like on a 13 plate. One key. Nothing says number of wheels three. I might have to source an alloy. But it could be in the boot. We don't know. Uh, and that's really it. MOT history on it was, I think, some problems with the uh, tyre tread on a couple of them. And it said light misting, I think, on the front struts. So, yeah, that's where we're at with this one. It is sandwiched, so I can get... Uh, Jamie who um, I recommended to Paul at Love 500 and he can go and do that for me and yeah but we just got to see if we can win it I, I can't see why not we're 50 quid off the reserve they might try it just gonna um, just gonna confirm that uh, um, yeah so join me potentially uh, later on to see if we've won it and at some point this will turn up yeah so a uh, uh, bit mm, uh, I am a bit up in the air at the moment as to whether or not that's worth 15 uh, 11.50 with fees but it's 2013, so a bit newer. The mileage is just a bit higher than I'd like. But at the moment, to stock on these things, um, there's, there's, I say there's no bargain to be had. There's the odd bargain to be had, but trying to, yeah, just, yeah, just, there's just really high. You, th you think these things would go quite low, and they're not. 
but there's there's a demand. So just have to factor that into the price. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this reasonably quick video, I guess. And then uh, at some point we'll do a walk around when it turns out. Right, we are back. Uh, what day is it? Is it Thursday? Okay. So about three days. And what did I say? So I bid on the car, bid and got it for 11.50. Took them well over nearly two days eventually. They came back with a counter bid of 12, no, 11.75 was their counter bid. So £25 extra. Um, I said no, stuck to it, the usual. And then they came back and went, all right, we'll accept it. So uh, 11 50 is the hammer price and the total for the car is 14 71 and 60 pence so just in the process of arranging delivery from uh, a guy i use over near sandwich and i'm hoping that the car will be delivered next week for those that don't have a copar account or are looking to get into it or just generally interested this is the invoice um, for the car so you can see the costs so uh, yeah so it's 169 pound to buy the car 59 pound to bid on the car £40 to retrieve the car from their yard and put it on the back of um, your, your um, f flatbed and then the VAT coming to your total of £1,471.60. That is how Copart work. So with fees, we are £320, I think. Uh, you can use their delivery and then they remove the lot retrieval which is 40 quid they'll remove that for you but their um, uh, delivery is something in the region of 300 odd quid so it's not going to work for me so yeah um, I think that pretty much brings the end to the video for today as I say, this will arrive uh, some point next week and then we can have a walk around of the car. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, I will catch up with you all again with our new project later on. But in the meantime, we'll probably have another video or so on my other few projects that I'm getting rid of before we come to this one but uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to know more about this car when it arrives so until next time thank you all again for watching we finally got a car and uh, i'll catch up with you all again very very soon take care